Okay, so I thought today we'd do a little analytic trigonometry. <clears throat> Continuation on addition and subtraction formulas. And this is what we have. We have if alpha and beta are acute angles such that cosine alpha is 4 fifths and tan beta is 8 fifteenths, find cosine beta. Um, here's, you know what I think I'm going to start. I'm going to start with some geometry, I think. So I'm going to make two, I am, I'm going to make two triangles. The first triangle I'm going to make, I'm going to let that be triangle alpha. And what we know about alpha is that its cosine value is this. And remember from geometry, the cosine of theta, this is way back, isn't it, is adjacent over hypotenuse. So we have adjacent is 4 here, don't we? And hypotenuse is 5 here. Hopefully you're recognize, recognizing this as a Pythagorean triplet. This is a Pythag triplet. And that should help us. I'm going to go ahead and make our second triangle here. Our second triangle will be the triangle. Make a right triangle out of this. And it says tan. Well, we know from... We know from geometry that tangent is opposite over adjacent, isn't it? So we have opposite is 8, adjacent is 15. So let's use a Pythagorean formula and figure out what we got here. We have 15 squared plus 8 squared is equal to h squared. And thank God I did this in the last video. So this does work out to be, all this added together is 289. And we want to take the square root of this because we want to take the square root of that. H. So H is equal to 17. You're welcome for me skipping all the arithmetic. I did it on the last video, so I won't do it again. Uh, and remember that this is triangle beta. As a matter of fact, let me make this more clear. This is triangle beta here, and this is triangle alpha here. Because I'm going to use these things to get my trigonometric values, because what I know is this, and this is what you had to bring with you to the table today, is that you had to bring the fact that cosine of alpha plus beta, cosine of u plus v, cosine of a plus b, etc., is equal to cosine alpha, cosine beta. You had to remember that's the opposite. This is the one that has the opposite here. And then sine alpha, sine beta. And we're going to get all this stuff, all these values, we're going to get from up here. Okay, so we're going to go to our triangles and we're going to grab those values out of there. So I think it ends up looking like this. And this is just FITBA now, right? FITBA, fill in the blanks. So I'm just going to fill in the blanks here. And I know that sine, I know that sine of alpha, uh, where am I? That cosine of alpha is 15 over 17, right? It's adjacent over hypotenuse. So that's that. Cosine of beta is 4 fifths adjacent over hypotenuse. So adjacent over hypotenuse. This negative sign is this one. Sine of beta is 3 fifths. Remember, here's beta, so sine is 3 fifths here. Wow. Can't be 3 fifths. What is that mess? What'd he do? What'd he do? What'd he do? Do. Hold on, I got this in my notes. I got this in my notes. All right, I have to do this off the cuff because I screwed it up. Right? This is right. This is right. Sine of beta. Sine of beta. Sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So it's 8 17 Who in the hell did that? 8 17 Sorry about that but I wanted sine alpha. Holy crap, if you're still there, you're a saint, I swear to God you are. Is opposite over hypotenuse is three-fifths, isn't it? So three-fifths goes there. Sine beta is eight-seventeenths. Okay, I just want to make sure I hadn't screwed up. All right, we're still good. We're still money in the bank, I think. So this goes to 60 over 85. This goes to 24 over 85.
for a total of 36.85. Man, I try not to uh, do too much of the work in advance because I don't want it to seem like it's just that easy because this is pretty difficult stuff. But usually I can get it together a little bit better than that. So I'm really sorry. So we can say this with some certainty now, you guys. Sorry. That's not what I, that's not what I want to say with certainty. It just, just blows my mind. I don't even know if I'm going to publish this now. Okay. All right. So look, I hope this was really helpful. It's not too, it's not too bad. Remember, you're going to have to use a little bit of geometry. You're going to have to have your formulas memorized, and you're going to have to uh, do a better job than I just did at being really meticulous about how you gather your, your work, okay? All right. Excellent work. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Your comments are welcome. Just take it easy on this one. Check out my other videos. Maybe I'm better.